So you finally got yourself a K40 and would like to make some money. Maybe you already have one and you want to expand an existing lineup of products you're making. And you're fresh out of ideas. Now, to fix this, I'm going to give you some tips on how to go about your search and be successful. First thing you want to do is look for products that are made with a different manufacturing process that can be either made faster or cheaper on the laser. This obviously changes depending on the laser you have. But for the K40, we are generally limited in size and material, like plywood and acrylic being the most common with five, maybe six millimeter or three eighths of an inch being at the higher end of the machine capability. Now, a well-tuned K40 can go past that at lower speeds, higher power and number of passes. But the idea here is to find the sweet spot. So try to keep it around five millimeters, especially for acrylic. You also want to look for a product that they can easily scale and adjust it to possibly morph into a different product. And for the sake of time, it is preferable to find something that you can cut rather than engrave as the latter is a lot more time consuming. Now I'm going to give you an example and tell you how I came up with the idea. The other process that I'm trying to emulate here is 3D printing. Now the two are not quite apples to apples, but there is some overlap that we can take advantage of especially when it comes to products that are flat with no complicated geometry, the laser is a faster, more precise tool. And this is the product that I started with. For the majority of the people that are not into woodworking or in the festival community, this is a pretty popular product and it's designed to clip the power cord of the tool you are using to the hose of the shop vac. This keeps it from tangling and it's pretty useful to have. You can generally get five of these for about 20 bucks or so. Depending on the 3D printer used and the quality needed, the times can vary drastically, but I sincerely doubt you can get one done for less than 10 minutes, and I'm kind of being generous here. For testing, I made three variations, and it took around a minute and 50 seconds on my K40 for all three of them together. So even if you have to do a second pass or even a third, that would still put you ahead of the 3D printer competition by at least a coffee break. I did not run a cost comparison on the two, but if I had to hazard a guess, I would say the laser product would likely be cheaper simply because even with a higher power consumption, the completion time is so much shorter. And here are the two products. One is 3D printer and one is laser cut. Both are functioning as intended. I hope this helps with your process of finding products. And if you are interested in more content like this, just drop it in the comments. Also, if you want the file, the link is in the description. Happy hunting.